In this video, we want to test the conditions of normality and equality of variance for conducting a multifactorial ANOVA on this data in which we have recorded the number of punches thrown by six amateur boxers, A to F, under conditions of different levels of hydration, either normal hydration E or dehydration D, over six rounds divided into two bouts. We perform this analysis through the ANOVAR calculation itself. So we go to STAT, ANOVAR, General Linear Model, and we need to fit a general linear model. The response are the punches, the factors involved are the subject, the level of hydration, and the bout. So if we then look to the model, we see we have the factors subject and hydration and bout in the model, but we also want to see the interaction between the hydration and the bout. So we will highlight these two, and then we can add a cross factor on interaction here by pressing add, and we now see that we have hydration times bout as an additional term in our model. So we press OK. And now under graphs, we will choose to select graphs of standardized residuals, and we will look for individual plots. First of all, a normality plot to demonstrate the normality of the data and residuals versus fits to demonstrate the equality of variance within the data. So we press OK. We will also choose to store these residuals for separate analysis. So we can go to storage and we will select standardized residuals and click OK. And then we will run the analysis. If we look at the normality plot first, the standardized residual for each data value is plotted against the percentage distribution that would be expected if the data were to follow an exact normal distribution, which is shown by this reference diagonal line. And as we can see, the experimental data points fall fairly close to this reference line, which suggests that this data is drawn from a nearly normal distribution. If we now look at the residuals versus fits, this shows the variation of residual values at different levels of the response variable punches. And as we can see, the distribution of values does not show any extreme variation over the range of possible punch values. So this suggests that there is no significant difference in the variances at the different levels, and then implies that we do have a homogeneity of variance through the data. So both of these graphs suggest that we will probably be able to accept the conditions of normality and homogeneity of variance for this data, but we can analyze this analytically. So returning to our data, we can see that the analysis has saved the residuals of every experimental data point. And we can analyze these residuals. First of all, we will go to STAT, Basic Statistics, and we will go to Normality Test, and we will select these residuals. We can test for normality using a range of different tests, Anderson, Darlin, Ryan, Joyner, Kolmogorov, Smirnoff. We will stick with the default Anderson, Darlin and click OK. We can see that it has reproduced the normality plot, which we've looked at before, but it has also performed the Anderson-Darling normality test, producing a p-value 
of 0.845, which suggests that we do not reject the null hypothesis that the data is normally distributed, and we can accept that our data sample has been drawn from a normal distribution. We can also analyse the residuals by going to STAT, Basic Statistics, Graphical Summary. Again, selecting the residuals. OK. And here we get a histogram of the residuals, which shows a fairly good normal distribution. It also gives us the uh, sample values of the set of residuals, including a repeat of the Anderson-Darling normality test for a p-value of 0.845. We can also perform a separate test for equality of variance by going to STAT, ANOVAR, test for equal variances, and for these options we know that our response data is in one column for all factor levels. The response as punches and the factors are the subject, the hydration and the bout. And then under options we can tick here to use Bartlett's test which is based on the normal distribution. We believe our data to be normal so we will click here. If we do not check this box, we will get results for Levine's test. But using the normal distribution, OK, we click OK. The results will appear in the session window. And we see that Bartlett's test gives a p-value of 0.974 which means that we do not reject the null hypothesis. We accept that there is an equality of variance at the different levels. And so overall, our analysis has shown that we can accept both the normality and equality of variance conditions, and that this will confirm the validity of the ANOVAR calculation.